Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, a Tuesday edition. It's only Tuesday, right? Tuesday edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap up show. Um, I was literally going to uh, email uh, Kyler, who does the editing. Uh, for these videos, and I was going to say, "Hey, man, I'm I'm just taking the day off. I'm just I'm just exhausted." And the most amazing part, uh, you know, I kind of fought through it because I wanted to get kind of my my thought across. Um, because again, we have no no visible, you know, no no visible um, uh, ways to kind of release stress right now. Okay, we're kind of you know stuck in our own little uh, worlds here. And the reason why I bring that up, um, you know, we're starting to see uh, a pretty decent amount of upticks, right? Second wave of upticks. And the hope was that at least we can get through the summer, the warmer weather. Okay. Uh, and then hopefully we'll kind of stretch things out and, you know, we could see something close to, uh, some sort of antidote or some sort of, you know, something, something that one of the of 10,000 biotech companies are trying to, to kind of, to kind of make for us. And the most amazing part is we started getting these little upticks. Well, again, a little more than a little, but still little upticks uh, in the last week or so. And the market obviously last Thursday got very, very jittery, sold off. Dow sold off 7%, right? Like that. Uh, many stocks followed through the following day. And we talked about yesterday that, you know, the bears really, they just dropped the ball. Okay. Um, and, I, and I said this in last night's video, unless... Um, you know, unless a, a meteor hits the earth and all of us are dead, as long as there's one person alive, there's going to be an uptick in the market. Obviously, it's, it's a joke, and I kind of reiterated uh, that joke today in the live webinar at pre-market, but that's kind of where we are. And, I, you know, I still find it amazing that most people are still fighting what, we're, you know, fighting what they're seeing. You know, again, it's all about the Fed, Dan. If it wasn't for the Fed, the market wouldn't go up. But if you know this information, why aren't you participating in the upside? The market's too high. The market can't go higher. Okay, it's all about the Fed. Again, it's the Fed, it's the market makers, it's the algorithms. Again, the only people who are complaining right now are the people who started shorting the market very, very early, okay, and got caught numerous times in something that started out as dead cat bounce into a full-blown uh, V-shaped recovery. Or the people that are sitting there every single day and complaining about the market makers, the algorithms, the Fed. This is the only reason the market is going up. Again, if you know this is, you know, if they know this is what's going on, like, again, these are excuses. The, again, you're either participating or you're not participating. And it's okay to sit out, right? It's okay to sit out. Uh, but again, don't make excuses why uh, you're not participating in a matter that you believe is normal. Again, there's no such thing as normal. I'm not normal. I'm a Gemini. I'm the... Right. The birdies are flying around. Well, you know, so I'm the furthest thing from normal. Again, it kind of make it work. So the idea that everything needs to make sense and everything needs to line up and everything needs to be perfect. And it has to be a perfect breakout every single time and this, that and so forth. Again, these are myths. These are unicorns. This is the, you know, the, 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 uh, the Loch Ness monster. It doesn't exist. Santa Claus might. Tooth Fairy might. But the rest of the things don't. So again, it's not the reality you want. You know, you're trading the reality you have, not the reality uh, that you want. But but in, until then, again, you're precious. You're, you're wasting so much precious time uh, trying to split and dissect the atom to figure out what's going on, and you're missing an incredible market. And that's what this thing is. It's an incredible market. And 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 one of the one of the things I started using two years ago. Again, I've been I've been trading beta now for about eight and a half years. Uh, through these pivots and I started only two years ago uh, started using um, option flow okay and I, I am stunned again it took me eight years to figure this out but I'm stunned that it took me that long time to figure out how important option flow is and if you see what's happening right now especially in the option world the flow that we're seeing every single day it might not translate into that day's action but boy, oh boy, when you start seeing repeat call buyers, and we're just using the bull side of it now, when you start seeing repeat call buyers over and over and over and over again, it's like getting an, it's like de getting dealt an extra ace. And what we saw just in the last couple of weeks, we started seeing 
monster call buying, you know, from the 20, right, from the 20, from this area here, this, right, the 2436, the 2525 breakout on Amazon, the 2700, the 2800, the 3000, Needham, by the way, uh, came out after the close, raised uh, Amazon to a $3,200 price target. So that's obviously one to watch for uh, tomorrow. But you saw a monster option flow, Tesla, right? Even when it had that 835 breakout, you started seeing 900 calls, 950 calls, 1,000 calls. And people turn around and say, how, well, how can you be, you know, how can it be such aggressive call buying? And again, once it started confirming levels, that option flow really confirmed where the next price point, where the next measure potential could be. And now, you know, you started seeing the stock even today, even yesterday, the day before, you know, uh, 950s, 1,000, 1050s, 1,100, 1,170 weeklies coming in. So again, it's incredibly important. But what we saw today, uh, what we saw today was one of the more aggressive uh, option flows we've seen in a very, very long time. And it wasn't a name that, you know, people are really going to turn around and say, wow, did you see what happened? I trade this all the time. I do trade the stock. I like the stock. I feel like this is another uh, play on the stay at home movement. Okay. Um, but it's not one of these stocks I trade every single day. Okay. Uh, and Roku, again, we've, you know, we, it is part of the beta crew. Uh, it's a name that again, I do follow, but look how long it's been sitting there in this range over here. And we knew this uh, 1630 level was going to be very, very important, right? At some point, just at least uh, to kind of take it out of its macro channel. And what I saw today was one of the more aggressive ways to find the order flow, right? Number one, find the order flow, watch the order flow, confirm the daily channel and what you're seeing for the next measure potential. And this morning, again, you know, market gapped up really, really big. And guys, by the way, congratulations to all you guys who came in long Tesla, came in long Amazon, came in long BYND. Phenomenal moves, absolutely phenomenal moves. But I kind of want to shift the direction. Everybody saw what happened in the market. Market gapped up. Uh, you know, you had macro news coming out of, uh, of, of Beijing. They were going to close down schools. Again, the fear of more aggressive uh, COVID news. That couldn't even get the market down. Again, it's a whole different story, but I kind of want to reiterate the point of, of this option flow. So we started seeing, you know, Roku this morning, you know, very, very light action, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. We started seeing, you know, 115 call buyers. Yeah, the stock was, you know, gapped up to 112, 113, not, not a big deal. And then slowly but surely started seeing 115, 118, right? 115, 118. And this is, this is for hours now, for hours, over and over again, over and over again. And the next thing you see, they just got absolutely ridiculous, right? Once it starts building, started building off the 1630, and we'll show you the pivots in a second, uh, very, very aggressive day today. Uh, we started seeing, I'm talking about the 120s, the 125s, the 130s. They even went out to July, right? The first week or so, or a month out, excuse me, a month out in July, the 170 calls. And this was, you know, again, if you believe in, in technical analysis, and I do, and you have uh, a really good option scanner. And again, there's, there's, there's so many out there. Um, there. There really is so many out there. I use Flow Algo, for example. Uh, there is um, another, another good one. There's uh, Option Alert. Uh, that one is good as well. But there's, there's so many out there. But if you have a good scanner out there and you, you, know, you, you continue to follow the order flow, and that correlates into your, into your process. Again, I trade either intermediate channels, bottom channels, upper channels, or the value breakout, once everything lines up, the, the stars, the moons, and everything lines up, it's an amazing thing. And this was one of the more uh, aggressive moves I've seen. So here's the whole 160, you know, here's the whole break of this whole channel, it just started grinding, grinding. And once it took out the 1630, I mean, this thing went to 22 and a half uh, after the close. So if you, if you do trade beta, or even just, just stocks in general, uh, if you do trade beta, um, it's a phenomenal way to get extra confirmation. When you see hundreds of thousands of dollars being laid out, millions of dollars repeatedly over and over again in different, uh, in different series, different expiration, and they keep on going higher and higher out of the money, it really is getting like, it really is getting dealt an extra ace, an extra pair of aces uh, to your hand. And again, for, for all you guys who do trade it, I would definitely 
um, I would definitely um, advise you to get it. I mean, we we you know we we broadcast this in the in the webinar, but uh, you you should definitely get it. It's just there's certain things you need to uh, to pay for. You need to have just to give your account, just to give your business in general, your trading business in general, better value. And this is definitely uh, one of the things. So let's talk about the day. Uh, very very aggressive pivots. A lot of names. Um, they rested today. A lot of names got very, very strong. Um, I think, I, I really, really think now, again, just based on the way we closed yesterday, I was super bullish coming into today. Uh, the Qs, again, just reclaimed everything. Big, big hammer uh, off the initial dip. And now we're again with 52-week highs striking this. So just amazing, amazing action. Uh, Tesla structured, uh, really, really good structured rest day today. Uh, NVIDIA, even though they got downgraded today, very, very strong structure day today of rest. Uh, same thing with BYND. Uh, so, you know, even Boeing at, at one point, you know, had a really big gap up, came in, you know, again, even, you know, I guess six, seven points is resting. But nevertheless, you could see a lot of these names were tired. And again, the longer the queues now base uh, over the five day moving average, again, that's the short term bias for uh, sentiment. You know, this market will continue uh, to, to shine. And again, you, you don't need to overthink. It's all right in front of you. Just again, use technical analysis. Again, I highly recommend uh, trading the option order flow with it. It's a perfect, perfect compliment. Again, just to give you more confirmation that institutional money flow is following uh, your idea and is waiting to confirm. And, uh, you know, usually good things are going to happen. So let's talk about the pivots. Uh, really solid day, man. Um, really, really good day. Again, uh, BYND we were looking at here, obviously never got up to uh, the 58, 59 uh, level here. It sold off right pre-market off those levels. Uh, 370, it hit 371 pre-market and it kind of died on a vine. It got Again, got downgraded. There was no play there. Uh, Square was very strong. Uh, 93, 80, 94 needs to build. Uh, here was Square. Okay, here was Square. Uh, so it took out that 93, 80 uh, pre-market highs and you know, went to 96. Beautiful move on Square. Uh, it actually held up very, very well the whole day. Uh, so Square was a big move there. On, on uh, uh, for all you guys who did came in, the coming uh, came in uh, long Amazon. We talked about twenty six thirty next supply. It actually traded up to twenty six twenty today. But again, got upgraded today after the close on Needham. Uh, I said potentially Tesla could get to. Uh, 1040 if it took out 1023 and never got there. But yesterday, again, just a monster move yesterday. We caught, uh, I caught a pretty good bounce spot today on a dip uh, on Tesla off that uh, 999, 1000 level when the guy came in uh, with a $2.9 million bet for the 990 in the money calls. Uh, so that was pretty good as well. Uh, Netflix was good. I caught Netflix really, really well. The one thing I really figured out recently on Netflix. You, you can't buy, at least I can't, okay? If you're looking for any type of liquidity, any type of size, you really have to piece into this thing because it, it trades so damn thin it's, for whatever reason now. Uh, a lot of times there's no liquidity, so you have to piece your trades in. So um, I got long, it went up 50 cents, it went down like $2, I added more, and then it exploded. It, it absolutely exploded. My highest print was... I was up like three and change. Uh, Netflix just absolutely exploded here. I still like Netflix. Again, uh, the stay-at-home themes are working really well. We talked about the 131, 132 level, and it got above this and just absolutely exploded uh, to 438. So I like, I continue to like Netflix, especially if we start seeing more and more COVID news, especially if the market started getting jittery. Uh, this was definitely, you know, this is definitely one of the trades of the day. Um, I, you know, we got long this thing. Uh, I got long this thing on the opening range high. What the hell did I buy this thing? It was a 120. No, where the hell did I buy this thing? Uh, Jesus, I shut off my machine. Where the hell did I buy this thing? I uh, went red to green. Hold on. One red to green. Uh, oh, it's, I, I paid 240. Uh, I paid 240. Red to green was 239. I missed the, the red to green. So I got long at 240. And this thing exploded. It went to 4350. Again, once you started seeing that news, uh, and again, this wasn't a pivot. This was just basically on momentum. And once we started hearing uh, that Beijing news of closing down schools, again, automatic natural play is always to Zoom, uh, to Netflix, to Peloton, uh, to Chewy, to Amazon. Uh, so those are the names. Uh, Facebook didn't do anything today. Uh, 237, 80, 238 only went up to 238 and a half. That really didn't do anything. Uh, DraftKings. I wasn't even watching DraftKings. Uh, 42.50 needs to build. Let me just take a look. I, I wasn't even watching this one. Uh, 42.50 never got there. Okay, never got there. Uh, IQ never got there. Sold off. Uh, big move. Uh, big, big move on Netflix. Really good trade there. Um, 
big move there. The second pivot I, I, I passed up, uh, excuse me, the second balance on Tesla I, I passed up, schmuck. Um, I pulled my bid at 984, traded down to 982, and then bounced all the way to 997. So I caught the first bounce on Tesla and I pulled my bid at 984 like a complete, ooh, and traded up to 997. Again, I still love Tesla. I think this thing uh, just rests here. So perfect move up. Again, for all you guys who caught that bounce, it was a 13 point bounce, uh, excuse me, 10 point bounce, sorry about that, 10, 10 point bounce so far. So really, really nice bounce there. And I, and I said this on the feed, I go, usually we don't put any, I usually don't put any bounce plays into uh, the private Twitter feed just because it's, it's just natural pivots. We, we do these plays all the time in the webinar, but this was such a big area because it was the rising five day moving average. Uh, I thought this was a very, very important area. So again, you got that 10, 12 point bounce on that. Uh, yeah, basically I said, look, uh, China upgrades emergency response to level two, watch ZM red to green, just exploded up, went up uh, four and a half there. Uh, you know, phenomenal move. I was very happy with the move there. Uh, Peloton, not a big move. Uh, Peloton 51 went to 51.45 uh, before it sold off. Again, I'm starting to make a, a list. Uh, I'm starting to make a list of stocks that participated in the whole uh, stay at home movement. Uh, as you can see here by the names here, Peloton, Apron. I still like, I still like Apron. Um, I really, really still like Apron in, in, in case uh, there is another COVID shock there. Uh, TDOC, uh, not a big move. It only went up a dollar. Uh, again, just fantastic, fantastic action uh, in the morning. Um, yeah, I mean, this is fantastic action. I mean, really, really fantastic action. Um, you know, a lot of people doing really, really great, you know, really, really great, man. That's, that's, that's the name of the game. These things are absolutely monsters. Tesla, uh, we were watching this pivot that never came there. And obviously the afternoon, uh, play was, um, was this right. And the afternoon play, uh, was Roku 11630 macro. They're coming for the aggressively for the 118, the 130 calls and you know, 118, I thought we could see 118. Then I went to 119 and then traded to 122 and change. Uh, after hours. So uh, the market, again, absolutely nuts. There's nothing really to say. Absolutely nuts. Uh, they're rotating every single day. Uh, the themes are working. Uh, the aggressive call buyers are still there. Still the Robin Hood people are not controlling this market. Let's relax. Uh, but the more important thing is, again, the market still is putting you in a position of strength and they really are uh, engulfing a lot of the bad news. So guys, have a great night. Have a great night. Hope everybody did well today. And with God's help, I'll see you all in the feed tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.